Um, Gordon, uh, the Office of Education and Potomac Conference is just delighted to be a part of uh, acknowledging uh, this wonderful presentation that has been presented to you from the Alumni Awards Foundation. And uh, we're proud of all of our, our teachers, but to be here to celebrate and honor uh, you in this special way is, uh, is, is it's truly a joy. One thing I love about Mr. Miller is that he is great with the kids and everyone just looks up to him and loves him. Mr. Miller, you are the best teacher I have ever had. When I moved here from Minnesota, I didn't know what would happen. I didn't know if I would like my school. I know if I would get along with the kids. But when I saw you and first day I came into your classroom, I thought it was going to be a pretty good year. First few weeks, I liked it. Next few weeks, I loved it. You were the best teacher I've ever had, and I am glad, proud, to be your eighth grade, one of your eighth graders. I'd like to read the letter that we have given to you in, uh, this evening as a part of your presentation. A copy of this will go into your file in the Office of Education. And it reads, Dear Gordon, it is with great pleasure that we celebrate the selection of the Alumni Awards Foundation for you to be one of the recipients of the Teacher of Excellence Award for 2011. Out of the 45 teachers nominated from across the country, the Foundation Selection Committee had the difficult task of narrowing the list of candidates down to just 10 teachers. This award rightly recognizes your willingness to be innovative in the classroom, the inspiration that your students receive, the excellence that your work represents, and the positive influence that your professionalism has upon your community. The Foundation presents you with this award along with a generous monetary gift in recognition of these professional skills that you bring to your craft. However, and perhaps more importantly, we wish to honor more than your skills, for you also bring a heart full of love and determination that you direct toward each of your students. You lift them up, you give them hope, and you show them why they need to do their best. Far beyond the content of the textbooks, you are able to show your students the unique gifts that they alone can bring to this world. In your class, Gordon, they begin to see who they can become. For this, there is no pay, no gift nor honor large enough to compensate. And now, with more than 30 years dedicated to Seventh-day Adventist education, we humbly say thank you for giving your very best. It's just a real honor to be chosen. Teaching has so many rewards, and it's measured by relationships um, that you see from year to year, decade to decade almost. And I realized how blessed I'd been to interact with so many special people, both as uh, teaching colleagues and having students in my classroom. It was, it's just been a wonderful experience. and. Um, it's been a real joy to be in education because of that fact and being able to touch people's lives with the gospel and to make a difference that will last for eternity is something that you really can't measure. If I were going to give any words of encouragement to anybody who'd be interested in going in education, um, I'd say only do it if you truly love people and your goal is to, one of your goals is to make a difference in people's lives. If you're not worried about the paycheck. Um, if your goal is to worry about the paycheck, if your goal is to just clock in and clock out, education is not what you should consider. But if your goal is to make a difference in people's lives, education is a wonderful field to go, wonderful field to go into. Um, you will never regret it. Um, it keeps you young because you work with such energy day after day and that's another joy of education is the fact that you get to touch the future as was said so many years ago and in education we do that day after day after day and uh, that's why I would encourage people to get into education. 